masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk higher mathematics this is an introduction to the higher mathematics dvds produced by masstutor.biz and massdvds.co.uk higher mathematics introduction in 2008 the two-tier GCSE maths examination was introduced the two tiers being GCSE Higher Mathematics and GCSE Foundation Mathematics. This series of 20 DVDs has been designed to cover the National Curriculum GCSE Mathematics Syllabus that all GCSE examination boards must follow for the Higher GCSE examination. However, they are suitable for anyone who wishes to study mathematics to the level after GCSE Foundation. The 20 DVDs have a total running time of 37 hours, and each DVD lasts around 110 minutes. The term higher may be misleading for those not familiar with GCSE terminology. For this reason, the full contents of all the DVDs in the series are on the website. It can then be checked to see if topics required by any other examination have been covered. Average GCSE grades for each topic are also given, but they're only a guide because the question, the way it is written, often makes for the difficulty of the question, not just the content. The topics covered in part 1 are mostly GCSE grades D, E and F, so it should be mostly revision for GCSE higher students. The topics covered in part 2 include material for the whole range of GCSE grades A to G, so include both topics for revision and topics will be completely new to some students. Other parts target similar GCSE grades and therefore will be both revision and new topics. The proportion of the mix revision and new will depend on the individual student. The later parts do concentrate more on higher grades and therefore will be mostly likely to be new than revision. Students will have met a number of the topics covered before and can consider viewing the DVD as a revision and consolidation. In itself not a bad thing. The final examination grades are awarded for a total score. To achieve a high grade, a high score is needed. The marks required for individual grades will vary from exam to exam and year to year. The boundary marks, as they are called, are discussed and agreed by the examiners after the marking has been completed. The discussions include the difficulty level that a particular year's exam is felt to have. These are the boundary marks for one year's summer exam at the higher level. It would be expected that any year's boundary marks would not be dissimilar to these. There are two exam papers for the higher, 3H and 4H, so it's a total of 200 marks. So these are the boundary marks for one particular year for the different grades and it would be expected that any year would not be dissimilar to those. In theory it is possible to get a grade A in GCSE Mathematics and not answer a single grade A rated question correctly. As can be seen from these boundary scores Grade A was achieved with a score of around 70%. This score can be achieved by getting all the B, C, D and E rated questions correct. So to get a grade A, you don't have to be able to do the very hardest questions, but you must avoid losing marks unnecessarily.
although we must agree that getting some grade A questions correct would be a good idea. This series of DVDs does contain material suitable for some students studying at Key Stage 3. Here is a guide to the GCSE levels and National Curriculum levels. Now this is only a guide, as National Curriculum levels do not match exactly with GCSE grades. So roughly speaking, as a guide, GCSE grades, National Curriculum stage levels, and at level 3 some students would be studying these levels. Virtually all the questions used in the tutorials are included with the individual DVD. The idea is not that the questions are answered before viewing the DVD, more that at a later date a student can remind themselves precisely what has been covered on the DVD by looking at the printed questions and if necessary view selected parts of the DVD again. The DVDs can be purchased either as a set with all 20 DVDs or individually. Each DVD has the, the topics covered and the target grades and as I said earlier each DVD has inside the wrap the questions covered on the particular DVD. Again I repeat the idea is not that these are worked through before viewing the DVD more that at a later date the student can look at this and review any parts of the DVD they feel necessary. <laughs>